Hello. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about neurofibromatosis. I'm getting ready to have a some of my uh, tumors cut off, like this one right here. This one, this, this one there, interferes with my my headphones when I have my headphones on for work. Um, it's pain painful to to have have those headphones on at work. Um, so that's what we're, that's what, what we're going to be doing. And so what is neurofibromatosis? We're going to tell you what neurofibromatosis is and we'll go from there. All right. Today is surgery day. And then you, you moved here from somewhere. Where did you say you moved here from? Can the state of Kansas. Um, Kansas, okay. Yeah, we, we were in a, a small community, but small town, but. Well, I've kind of always thought of El Paso as a small town compared to where I'm from, which is Houston, but. Right. It's really not a small town. Yeah, the town we were we were living in before we moved here was a town of about five thousand. So. Oh, okay. Of course. Five thousand people. Wow. Yep. My high school back home had. 6,000 kids, if you can believe that. Yeah. The high school I graduated from had about 300 kids in the, it was a 4A school. And, well, it was 3A, 3A, by the time I graduated, it was 4A, but. I graduated in a town that this it was, was even Kansas? smaller. Yeah, I graduated in a town that yeah. the town was only about a thousand people, and there was three th three towns that 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 sent kids to that that school, uh -huh. that high school. In fact, I started kindergarten the same year that the 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 consolidated high school of those three towns was opened. Oh wow! And Sam Brownback that was, that was a used to be senator and then was elected governor after. Uh, Small, quick attempt to run for president. Uh huh. Yeah, the name and, sounds familiar. Yeah, he, he 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 graduated from from the first first senior class of of the 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 high school. Oh, okay. And he he was from one of the smaller smaller towns that that was was part of the high school. What brought you to specifically to El Paso? Well, main, mainly milder winter, winters. Oh, okay, I hear that. And 
and we bought land out in the desert that planned to put a little homestead ed there and be a base camp amp, amp when, for when we get get our RV to to move to come back to when we we aren't out out and about. Yeah. Do you guys like to RV? It's a it's a dream of ours. We we haven't we haven't got got the RV yet, but okay. We we are wanting to RV and pretty much be one of the one of the full timers or most of the time. It seems like a fun way to travel. I've never been in an RV before. So this looks to me more like a cyst than an actual neurofibroma. Really? We're gonna, gonna take it out. So something that may have developed after, because there was one that was taken in the same spot uh -huh. a few years ago, and we thought it just... I mean, it looks like there's a little sack, so that's what's making me say that, but could it be maybe a mix of both or something? It's possible. Disorder mostly seen in skin that um, oh man sorry this is gonna have to ring um, neurofibromatosis is basically a disorder where you're making kind of extra lining of the nerve cells in the skin which are creating the little bumps that you have and uh, 
Schwannoma is more. Will you dab in here? Yeah. To my understanding, the the lining, more kind of over the brain, and I don't know of a condition where your um. What you dab in here? Where your, where that's on your skin. I don't. I don't know that there's an overlap with um, neurofibromatosis when it comes to skin. Hmm. All right. So let's see. It's gonna close my eyes. So folks, we, when we went into this surgery, a, we had, we went in there to have a neurofibroma removed. It, it was removed. You, you even seen the staples there, there where, where they stapled it. However, it, as you heard during the surgery, it was mentioned that it looked like it was a pilar cyst, which is what it was. It was not a neurofibroma. So, what is a neurofibroma? A neuro and I have neuro neurofibromas all over, both in on my brain, and I'm sure in areas that. Because my my metal rod uh, from scoliosis um, that is elsewhere inside my body as well well as as those on the outside of the body. But what is neurofibromatosis? Neurofibromatosis is a genetic disorder that affects the growth and development of nerve cells leading to the formation of tumors along the nerves. These tumors can develop on or under the skin, on other organs, or deep within the body. NF is, as it's known, um, for short, is caused by mutations in one of three genes. NF1, or neurofibromatosis 1, NF2, and SMARCB1. Um, which is Schwannomus. Neurofibromatosis type 1 is the most common form of the disorder affecting approximately 1 in 3,000 individuals. It is caused by mutations in the NF1 gene, which provides instructions for producing a protein called neurofibromin. The protein helps regulate cell growth and division. NF1 tumors can develop on or under the skin and may affect the bones and nervous system. Other common symptoms include freckling, in the armpits or groin and tiny bumps on the iris of the eye lish nodules which is something I also have uh, neurofibromatosis 2 or NF2 is a less common form of the disorder affecting approximately 1 in 25,000 individuals it is caused by mutations of the NF2 gene which produces a protein called Merlin. This protein helps regulate the growth and development of cells in the nervous system. In NF2, tumors typically grow on the nerves that control hearing and balance. Vestibular schwannomas, As well as other 
areas of the brain and spinal cord. Enough to people ha have gone deaf and blind because of those particular tumors. Um, Schwannomatosis. Schwannomatosis is the rarest form of neuroschwannomatosis, affecting approximately 1 in 40,000 individuals. It is caused by mutations in the SMARCB1 gene, which provides instructions for producing a protein that helps regulate the activity of other genes. In schwannomatosis, uh, Tumors grow on the Schwann cells that surround nerves, but not on the nerve cells themselves. These tumors can cause chronic pain, weakness, and numbness to the affected areas. Diagnosis of neurofibromatosis typically involves a combination of physical exams, medical history, and genetic testing. While there is no cure for the disorder, treatment may include surgery to remove tumors, medications to manage symptoms, and regular monitoring to detect any potential complications. It is important to know that this is a genetic disorder. So for someone to have have this, mom or dad has to also have it. And likewise, their mom or dad. For me, it was my mom, and and before her, her dad. So there you have it. Thank you for watching, uh, and have a great day.